Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name is Cougar and this is another episode from the Amazon review series. Now this was another requested uh, review here. We uh, got another another company here that uh, wanted us to check out another uh, product of theirs. Now this is by X Agis and that's X A E G I S and this is another uh, rifle bipod. Now this is a different style than the one we had previously. Uh, we uh, of course were contacted by the uh, by the company and uh, they had this one that they wanted to uh, have us check out and, and see what we thought about it and everything. So we went ahead and agreed and uh, just got it in. Now, the, obviously, as you can see, it did come in just a simple brown box, uh, just like a, a lot of these do. Uh, they don't really waste much on packaging and making it look fancy. I think uh, that's part of what helps to keep some of the prices down. Now, we do have a few pieces here. One, one thing I will note, this didn't come with instructions, so that's something that uh, you may want to take into consideration when you're getting it. Uh, it does only have a few components though. There is of course the, as you can see here, the bipod uh, itself and there is this section here and I am not going to worry about that. It is the uh, the clamping mechanism. Now this does work on a uh, on a pick rail or a picatinny uh, but uh, it does have this uh, locking mount here for that type of rail system. Uh, you do have an Allen wrench here to uh, tighten it all down and everything and then of course you have the main unit right here. Now the unit you can uh, take and put the unit on and have it set up so that you either have the legs uh, when they're in their uh, basically closed position facing either forward or backward whichever way you're more comfortable with uh, and is more efficient for you. Now the uh, the clamping mechanism, of course, goes right here, and there is uh, a little uh, piece right here. This is this is kind of a, a keeper piece, uh, and it's just a kind of a center pin, and it's got a hole that goes all the way through it. Uh, now, what we've got here is uh, the tightener uh, or the clamp down piece that clamps this to the unit itself. And uh, what it is is there's, uh, you can see a little cross piece in there, and that's just like a keeper that holds this together. But uh, really what it is is these two pieces right here have uh, a pin in between the two. And uh, when you take, at, take out uh, this little keeper piece, it then will go on top of uh, or around this piece. And then we've got uh, a little hand screw right here. You tighten that down that uh, pulls this down as it pulls this down it cinches this down tight against the uh, the uh, rail section here and uh, squeezes these two things together so it, it pulls it down and clamps it tight so uh, that's how it's uh, kind of mounted it makes it so it can be easily uh, dismounted from the uh, the rifle or long gun that you're using uh, this of course will stay in place so you'll have just this piece that will stay on the rail and then you can just drop this piece right off. So it makes it very nice. Uh, it's actually very easy I think uh, to kind of uh, add, add and remove it as you need. Now this style here has the uh, of course the springs on either leg and of course these are what uh, lock it into position. It does only have two positions. Uh, the first position is just as you see it here and then the second position is in this lockdown state. You uh, flip it and they're very nice and tight springs and then you push it down just enough to get it to kick down and uh, the other side does the same thing. And like I said, those are tight springs, so uh, you do want to be a little bit careful with that. Uh, now, we do have kind of an interesting look. It is this kind of uh, black and white swirl design. Almost makes me think of uh, like an inverted zebra print to an extent. So that's kind of interesting there. 
it does create a broken up look uh, similar to like I said with the zebra print uh, zebra stripes of course kind of break it up so that uh, you're seeing kind of light and shadow together uh, and you can't quite make out what it is now with this this is an extendable bipod uh, this is approximately six inches in height six and a half maybe I can't remember exactly off the top of my head uh, you can of course check that out. There's the link for this for uh, the Amazon site down in the description below if you want to uh, take a better look at this uh, for anything that I may miss. But uh, so it goes from this and then it does extend out. You press this, uh, this little flat section here and uh, it releases it and you've got basically these um, about half inch notches on here and they extend out to approximately nine inches and so there you go so uh, you've got a nice high seat right there uh, now this this does uh, these are um, able to spin they don't lock like super tight or anything like that uh, they just notch into or set into these notches here uh, they do have these kind of plastified rubber type feet uh, kind of a conical shape with uh, some uh, a little bit of grip cylindrical uh, cutouts right there that kind of give it a little bit of grip so uh, so now you can have your firearm right there and uh, adjust it as you need to you can of course sit there and uh, hold the things in set it all the way down uh, bring it all the way up or put it anywhere in between uh, if you're on kind of a strange platform area you can of course uh, maybe raise one side so that now if you have like a rock or something here you can plant there and still plant the other side down and it gives you that advantage of uh, you know still being able to shoot on the level uh, even though you're on unlevel uh, ground or on an unlevel surface so pretty nice that way uh, Definitely, definitely feels like a pretty good quality. Uh, this all, uh, as I can tell, believe this is all steel construction here. Uh, of course, it is just a simple plastic turn knob there. We'll go ahead and fold this back up. And like I said, those are fairly tight. Uh, one thing I do want to mention, you can see here as I do this, these do click when they click and seat down. There is a little spring there. So you can press the button and it extends all the way out very quickly and easy if you want to send it all the way down. And then of course you can adjust any way you want there. Uh, if you happen to have your hand there, you just stop it from launching out. But it does have that spring there. So if you want to just automatically go to full extension, you can just hit the button. Automatically goes into where it needs to. Uh, you just make that quick little little bit of a pull so it's make sure that it's seated and uh, there you go now uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this set up uh, I'm gonna set it up on uh, on a rifle I've used before uh, so some of you may have seen this one previously of course this is an AR model and uh, I will not be taking off the handrail. We're not going to adjust that. Uh, I am just going to go ahead and take this, use it as a uh, front section here, and put it on the front end in front of the handrail there just to kind of see what it looks like. So uh, let's see how that goes. All right, everybody. Well, here we go. We've got it uh, put on here. Uh, it's got the clamp uh, clamped down onto the pick rail here. And uh, we have it set just, just back from the end of the rail there, just, uh, you know, about an inch and a half or so back. And, uh, you know, it sits in there pretty nice. It's, uh, it doesn't take up a whole lot of room. It's out of the way and everything. Actually, it still makes it very usable uh, if I want to use the, uh, the handle and everything here. So uh, very nice that way, especially with having it front facing like that. And, uh, of course, it doesn't get in the way of the muzzle or anything in that way. Uh, then, of course, we can kick it down. We've got it on the lower, the lower sit. And, of course, that's a, that's a little bit, a little bit low because of the handle here. But that's, that's roughly where it would sit. It's not, not very far off of, like, where this, this hand grip is. 
But uh, then if we want to go ahead and shoot from a little bit higher, we can of course rack these out and then it sits much higher and we can get a, uh, a, uh, a, higher, a higher sit uh, position. Now uh, I notice it's a little bit loose here uh, and that's, well, that would be because I don't have the front, uh, the knob here that attaches or tightens up the, um, the pick rail br uh, bracket and the actual mounting bracket for the bipod. I didn't have it quite tight enough here. This is a, a thumb tight, so just make sure you turn that till it's uh, nice and solid. And there we go. Uh, very little movement, just a slight bit, and it's not something that I would expect. I, I would expect a little bit of movement um, just because you're looking at long legs like this, there's going to be some flex in just the very length of the uh, product here, uh, no matter what it is. Uh, I mean, unless it was just one solid billet that came down, you're going to have a little bit of movement. But uh, it does seem to uh, hold pretty stable and everything, uh, so it seems pretty nice. Uh, not too hard to uh, put together. It took a little bit. Uh, best idea, I think, is to put the mount uh, on the pick rail first and let the, uh, the center pin drop down and then set this up so that the, uh, the clamp will go around the, uh, the little drop pin and the two, uh, the two pins on either side that go through will uh, lock into place. Once you get those lined up, just go ahead and spin this uh, little thumb screw or uh, the, th the uh, hand tightener here down. Uh, make sure it's uh, tight enough for you and uh, then you should be uh, off to the races and ready to shoot. Again, you guys want to check this out down there in the description below. There's going to be the link for this on Amazon. Uh, you can, uh, of course, click on that or or cut and paste it however you need to do it and uh, you know there's also the links for our uh, our all our social media is going to be down there as well as you know there's the comment section down there love to hear from you guys let us know what you think about some of these different products and uh, also you know there is of course the whole like share and subscribe uh, you know go ahead and like it and hit that thumbs up button you can subscribe with the little icon there'll be one floating around the corner uh, there at the end of the video and uh, of course if you don't see it you can go straight down and hit the subscribe button below the video and don't forget to hit that bell icon to uh, be notified of when we got new videos coming out here on World of Me. Well sorry about this guys but the last little bit of the video here got cut off. Anyhow my name is Cougar this is the World of Me and another episode from the Amazon review series. I'd like to wish you all a good day and I will see you later. Bye!